We're at Lake Pleasant and we are doing our first two dives. Today is day one. Um, we're not doing any new skills necessarily. We're just doing them in open water. I'm not sure how far down we're gonna go, um, but I'm mainly just worried about my ears because they didn't do so hot during the pool dive and we're going deeper this time and I'm a bit worried about how they're gonna react. And um, I think I'll have some fun. I don't think it's going to be my favorite experience, but I do think it'll be positive. And I will see you guys after. As you can see behind me, we are still at Lake Pleasant. Um, <laughs> the rest of the group is going on their second dive. I am not. Um, it was really tough. I knew that there was a good possibility that I wasn't going to get certified today. Um, simply because I just, I genuinely do not like the sport of scuba diving. I understand why people like it and I just, I don't like it. Um, so we ended up going down into the lake. We went down to about 25 feet, um, down in the water and the visibility is really bad. So you can't see the person that's a foot or two away from you. Like you can't see the visibility is awful and I was just couldn't really breathe deeply as deeply as I should be breathing especially for how far down we were going um so we went down to the bottom I got down my ears equalized for the most part um and we got down there and then we had to do the task of clearing a partial mask, which is essentially where you let water into your mask, and then you blow it out using your nose, um, looking up like this. And I don't like filling my mask with water. I like being able to see, so already being in that low visibility was hard for me, and I was already kind of freaking out and panicking, being that far down and not really knowing where everyone was and getting lost. Um, was really scaring me and I was already super anxious with it so when they asked me when he asked me to fill my mask um, I tried so I let all the water in and I was trying and I was blowing it out I kept trying and I just couldn't get it um, I tried maybe five times to clear my mask um, and each time I just got more and more panicked because I couldn't do it and obviously the gear that we're using for the most part is not fitted to us which means the regulator um, I kept getting water with every single breath that I was taking so I swallowed a lot of water um, so it kind of just all added up worse 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 and worse and I couldn't get my mask cleared so I couldn't see and I was starting to drift away so like I was being held which in a sense didn't help because I still couldn't see where I was and I really didn't like that um, and I knew that the next couple skills were taking your regulator away and being able to clear it down at the bottom um, and being comfortable with it and I just knew that I was not going to be able to do that so I just swam up um, I panicked and I just I dipped because I couldn't breathe and I couldn't breathe correctly and I just I couldn't get it and I couldn't get it so so I left <laughs> and I went up and we talked about it and he knew it was one of my fears he knew why I was doing this whole certification and um, we kind of just decided that it would be better if I did not go on and I knew I wasn't going to be able to do the rest of the skills like giving up air and stuff um not well anyways not comfortably um and not to a point where I could control my panic and anxiety so yeah that's what happened today I tried and that's all I can really do so overall I'm proud of myself for getting all the way down to 20 feet because I really didn't think I was going to be able to um, and I'm really proud of myself for trying, and I tried to push through that fear and anxiety. It just wasn't happening today. So we'll try again another day. Um, but like I said, I'm not disappointed. Yeah, scuba diving, trip one with the lake dive was a bust. <laughs> we'll try again another day.
So today I'm going to be holding a tarantula. It's my spider experience today. Today I'm holding a pink toe tarantula until my heart rate goes back to what's considered a resting heart rate, which would be um, anywhere, I'm considering it anywhere under 80 beats per minute. Um, so I've held a spider before, I held a tarantula before, um, but I really didn't do so super willingly. It kind of just got put onto me by another person and I was not calm whatsoever while holding it. So I don't really count that as facing this fear. I've tried previously, but sometimes fears take a couple tries and I'm pretty scared to uh, go out and do this. But I guess we'll see what happens in the top left corner of that cage is the pink toed tarantula that i held so as you can see i was very uncomfortable in the beginning of this experience for about an hour i just sat there watching uh amy the tarantula move on tarantula move on her owner nick <laughs> i don't think they taste at all oh hey you're, you're good look Listen, at how she and we eventually moved to the same couch so that I could be closer to the tarantula before holding it. Um, when I was ready to start trying to hold her, my hands were shaking so badly that she did not want to go on to me, as you can see. Um, so it actually took a while before she was okay with being on me too. When she first went on my hand and when I was first holding her, I refused to look at her. Um, I just could not see her legs moving. The way spiders and tarantulas move really just freaked me out. Um, once I realized though that she wasn't really gonna do anything but kind of barely move around and kind of just check me out, I was more okay with glancing down at her without really touching her besides holding her. I slowly started to calm down. Um, it got a little easier and she kind of chilled out a little bit too, which was really good. Because you're shaking. See, now she's slowing down because you're chilling. She's okay. Uh-uh. Can you not climb up my arm, girlfriend? That's just like a no-go, right? Okay, yeah, she's not bad. No, not at all. Hey guys, it's after um, the tarantula experience. And honestly, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting in a way um but as you can see i eventually calmed down enough to willingly hold her on my own um, but it actually took about two hours or so for me to do that and that last clip was where i calmed down and after about 10 minutes of continuously holding her i finally hit that resting heart rate but unfortunately my camera died um so i realized pretty quickly that she was just as afraid to be on me as I was to hold her. It was kind of a mutual thing where we were both pretty nervous about the other person or the other creature, I guess, um, which kind of almost made it a little better for me um, to realize we were both that nervous. Um, but it has definitely helped me decrease my fear. They're kind of cool, I guess kind of cool. Um, they're definitely not my favorite animal and I know when I see a spider I'll still probably scream but it's definitely decreased my fear slightly and I'm just really proud that I completed all three of these experiences and I have gotten through and tried for each and every one of them so I'm pretty happy with that but yeah that's how that went today so all good things.